Hey guys, what's up? Today we are gonna show you the 10 best Atelier games. That's right, the Atelier series is huge, isn't it? But we picked our 10 best Atelier games in our opinion, of course. Now, as always, only games that were released outside of Japan. And we're gonna leave out the Manakimia games, Manakimia 1 and 2, because even though they are Atelier games, they just don't have the Atelier name in the title. But yeah, those games are like our honorable mentions. And you've probably already noticed that I've been saying we and our. That's because I'm not alone here. Ircha Gaming is here with five picks of her own. So let's begin! Alright guys, I'm gonna start first with a game that I think is very historically important because it is the Atelier game that pretty much popularized the series in the West and also popularized the Alchemy Simulation formula and that is Atelier Rorona. This is the trilogy on the PlayStation 3. Now it isn't the first Atelier game we ever got. We previously got a bunch of games but we'll get to that later. Atelier Marie on the Sega Saturn was the very first Atelier game ever made but we didn't get that game. However, that's the game that pretty much started off with the Alchemist simulation that carried over until Rorona. And Rorona is a pretty basic game. Sure, it has the timer, the time limit that most people hate, but the time limit is just there for the side quests. You can just do your main quest per period in a ridiculously short amount of time. It's a game that has a lot of charisma, a lot of comedy, a lot of charming, and of course it has Astrid, which is Rorona's teacher, and she's pretty much one of my all-time favorite Atelier characters. So Atelier Rorona, even though it's like the precursor of the Atelier games in the West with a focus on the alchemy simulation, it's still one of the best Atelier games ever made, in my opinion. My first Atelier game for this video is gonna be Atelier Aisha. It is the first title in the PS3 era Dusk trilogy, and you play as Aisha, maybe my favorite Atelier girl design and personality across all the Atelier girls. This is a story of you trying to rescue your sister who disappeared, with the help of alchemy. It is a title that still holds up even though it shows some signs of aging compared to newer titles, as this is originally a 2012 title. The world map is cute to traverse on and the areas has a fixed camera position. Tons of Atelier goodness, quests, cutscenes, RPG elements, turn-based combat and a pretty straightforward alchemy system. It is one great Atelier game, also it is one with an awesome soundtrack. However, the Switch version struggles a tiny bit in towns with frame drops. But overall, Atelier Asha is a title that I can recommend. The next game on the list, number 8, is Atelier Eska and Logi, which is the sequel to Atelier Aisha, both games part of the Dusk trilogy. The first time I played this game was on the PlayStation 3, but I sold that version like an idiot, so I had to download the PS Vita version, which is the plus version with all the DLCs and whatnot. And this is a game that stands out among the others because of several things. First and foremost, it is one of the very first Atelier games that let you choose which main character you want to play as. And not only that, one of the main characters was a guy, which is something rare in the Atelier series, considering most of the Atelier protagonists are girls. It's also a game that has a lot of strong focus on, it, on its steampunk elements. You really get the steampunk vibes throughout the game. Not only that, it also has a really interesting soundtrack full of jazz themes, jazz-like music, like the battle theme, for example. It also has a really cool battle system. I think it's one of the best in this series because it lets you combine uh, your whole party, you know, your three characters during active party and then three more which you can switch to at any given time. And there's also combination attacks, skills, abilities, and most importantly, you can also do these alchemy 
combination attack between Eska and Logi using two different items, so it's, it's a pretty cool battle system in my opinion. Check out this game, no matter the version you play, it's a game with a lot of personality and definitely one of the best in the Atelier series. My next game is Atelier Lady and Suel. A ridiculously beautiful game. This is one of my favorite Italian games, obviously. It's so charming, pretty, and a ton of things to do in. You play as Lady and Suelle, you can control either one of them. They are living with their dad who paints pictures that the girls can jump into, explore, and gather alchemy materials in. They are also looking for their mom inside the magical worlds found in the paintings. Lydia and Swell has two versions on the Switch, and I have both versions. The first basic release of the game, and now the DX version. Both good, and pretty much the same, except the DX version has all the DLC stuff and some quality of life features, like fast forwarding battles and such. I highly recommend Lydia and Swell. Such a cute game. Now for number six, I chose a game that is also very important, if not the most important title in the entire series, and that is Iris One, also known as Eternal Mana. This is part of a trilogy released on the PlayStation 2, but this is the very first Atelier game ever released in the West. However, the Iris trilogy plays more on the traditional style. These are actually traditional styled RPGs, turn-based RPGs. Not exactly alchemy simulators like all of the others, starting Rorona and upward. Sure, there's some alchemy parts, some missions where you're gonna do alchemy, where you're gonna synthesize items and gather stuff in towns and in dungeons, but there's no time limit, no quest-driven nature, no, it's one of those traditional style games where you go from town to town, and it's a pretty good game, you can really see the start of the series here, even though it started back with Atelier Marie, it's just the Irish trilogy focused more on the adventure, and like I said, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but one last time, like a traditional styled turn-based RPG. Now my next game is Atelier Lulua, and in Lulua you play as the daughter of an earlier Atelier girl called Rorona, known from the good old Arlan trilogy found on the PS3 back in the day. It is worth mentioning that right now all modern Atelier games are found on the Switch, counting from Rorona and up. Lulua is a title that I fell completely in love with, as it is so pretty. <laughs> Lulua is a fun protagonist that travels the land with her portable atelier wagon, meeting up with a bunch of familiar faces from the Arlan trilogy. Explore all varieties of terrains and do a ton of quests and combat. A gorgeous world map. I love this game. You cannot go wrong with Lulua. Coming in at number 4, there's one of my favorite Atelier games in the series, and you've probably seen me covering this game several times in my channel. This is Atelier Shelly, and this is the third game in the Dusk trilogy. This is one of the best Atelier games because it also has several things that make it stand out above the others. One of them is, once again, the fact that you can choose between two main heroines called Shelly, both of them. Uh, the story changes at the beginning, but eventually the parties merge, and it's the same story no matter which heroine you chose. It's also a game that, surprise, surprise, no more time limit! It doesn't have a timer anymore, you can take your sweet-ass time to finish every single side quest or main quest you want. That's right, it got rid of the time limit. It also has a really unique soundtrack, some battle themes are so damn hardcore, so metal-ish, Great music here, and also, last but not least, it has my favorite battle system in the entire series. This is a battle system that carries over from the one in Eska and Logi, but you can do this, beside the combination attacks, you can also do this burst mode where you enter this overpowered mode where you can beat the crap out of your enemies in no time. And it's fast paced, the interface is quick, the controls are great, it's such an amazing battle system. Overall, this is one of the best Atelier games in my opinion, and I'm pretty sure Ircha agrees with that because she initially chose this game also for her list, but I'm such a big fanboy of this game that I, I had to be the one talking about it. Anyway, moving on to number three with Ircha. Now my next game 
is Atelier Raisa. Better to say Atelier Raisa 1. This is the second recent Atelier game and a entry to the series that feels superior to earlier titles by far. The Atelier series is a series that seems to only get better and better for every single title. And they are known to have annual releases. Risa is the best. It's the best place to start. It's packed with content. It can easily last you 50 to 60 hours. Enjoyable world and characters and super pretty graphics and a great soundtrack. This time the combat is different, more like a wait for your turn kind of combat. And the best of all, Risa has my favorite alchemy synthesis mechanics across the series. Number two is the second game in the Iris trilogy, my favorite Atelier game, Iris 2, The Azoth of Destiny. Now this is the very first Atelier game I ever played in my life and I fell in love with it because back then I didn't know any game that even resembled it. To me all this alchemy, gathering items, you know, synthesizing stuff was pretty much new. This is another game that has two protagonists but you don't get to choose between them, you play as both. Now the guy felt his part is more like the uh, traditional style RPG, going from one town to another, from one dungeon to another, meeting several party members that join every now and then. So he plays like any other regular turn-based RPG plus the alchemy features. This is part of the story, the girl, is pretty much the atelier part of the game where you if you play this game you're gonna and you play with Vise and if you've played other atelier games before you will notice that you know by playing with Vise you're pretty much playing like with Rorona or with Shelly or with Aisha. So going back to this game after playing most of the other atelier games I realized how great it is how it combined both formulas that the alchemy simulation and the traditional style of gameplay in RPGs together that Fusion was just amazing. I hope we get another game like this in the series because this is definitely my favorite Atelier game. Now my last game for this video is Risa 2. You can find all the things that you enjoyed from Risa 1 only approved upon in this title. A sprawling new city, a ton of new places to gather materials at, the familiar cast from Risa 1, but you don't have to have played Risa 1, in my opinion, to enjoy Risa 2. This time you can also swim and climb and interact more with the world around you. Dungeons are exciting, the story is exciting, it is a big JRPG game that can last you for 60 hours and then some. I have talked about this game a ton over on my channel and I also have full reviews up on all of these games that I have mentioned in this video over on my channel. I love the Atelier series and I hope you will too. If you haven't played an Atelier game, start with Risa, one or two, start with Blue Lua, any of these games. You can start anywhere. Pick the girl that you like the most is something that I say. Thank you so much for having me on your channel today, Eric Landon, and uh, I will see you later. That's all for today, folks. Don't forget to subscribe to Earcha Gaming's channel, link in the description below. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends. See you next time!